Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another garden project. So today we are talking all about the Dwarf Alberta Spruce, which is a tiny evergreen, a spruce tree, and it is tiny. Now these ones are pretty small. Got them at our local hardware store um, and they had all different sizes, but I specifically was looking for a tiny evergreen that I could keep in a container. Um, I do not want to necessarily put this guy out in my landscape. I have this area right here, which I like to plant foxgloves in every spring, and it is a glorious show with the little bells all throughout this area. But unlike a lot of my other areas where the foxgloves stay throughout the fall and winter, this spot, they just seem to die back. Some will come back next year since they are biannuals, but it leaves me with a big dead spot right at the front of my garden for two thirds of the season. So I've been trying to decide what to do. And I thought what I would do is put a container here. So I have a little container stand and every fall, once the uh, foxgloves have gone, I can bring this little spruce in, I'll pop them up on my porch when I'm not using them in the garden. And I'll put this little spruce here. The Dwarf Alberta Spruce works great in containers. They like to be in full sun. They need very little water, but I can pop them right in the irrigation of the rest of my irrigation system. And they're very slow growers. They grow up to eight feet tall, but they only grow about two to three, maybe four on a really good year, inches a year. And they'll push all their growth once a year in the spring. So once in the spring, we'll get a good like couple inches of growth and then we won't get any more growth for the rest of the year, which is a great thing for a spot like this where I want to keep him in the same container for a long time. Um, if you are planting one in the landscape, you just wanna make sure he's in a full sun spot. They do like a lot of sun. But for a container, they're a great idea because you can move them around, they need very little water, and they can stay in the same container for a very long time. Now, I still am looking for a container, so for this year, you'll notice all I've done is wrap some burlap around the nursery container with a bow, and I'm calling that good for the season. Hopefully, I'll have this little guy for a long time, and we will continue to add to him. Um, we'll get him a nice pot, and we'll move him around as the seasons occur. Now we're gonna pop over to mom's house. She also got one of these and we're going to pot him up for her. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. If you like these little spruce trees, let me know what you would do with one. And if you have one, uh, let me know where you have it. I'm also gonna put some pictures right here. My mom actually planted one in Colorado many moons ago. This was probably about 20 years ago. And it grew in this same spot for about eight years between the first picture when she planted it and the last picture. So this was our Colorado house. And you can see how slow in eight years this tree grew. So hopefully this little tree will be very happy in his container for a long time, which means I'm looking for the perfect container to put him in. And until then, he's just fine in his nursery bucket. So. Let's head over to mom's and then we will be done for the day.
Closer look, you can see we have foxgloves here, 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 here. There's one underneath here. There's another one here. So to fill in the space until this tree gets bigger, I have just wrung him with a little river of ornamental cabbages. Which get a lot of really pretty color and they get really full. And these will, uh, be beautiful for us all fall, all winter until next spring, unless they get hit by a really hard frost. I also have some ranunculus coming up. I've planted some here, planted some new ones here, here, and here. So those will come up amongst the foxgloves. They will bloom at a slightly different time. And you can see once they're in the ground, these two are from last year. Our ranunculus foliage here comes up in late winter and so next year we will have more of that green all around our spruce and all of this will just help fill in after those foxgloves have died back. He's a pretty little tree. I hope you liked this video. If you are looking for a container pot, something to live in a container year round, switch in, switch out. It is a full spun spot like this one. This is a great option. Let me know what other options you might think of because uh, I'm always looking for my container plants. Um, I just love them. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.